Good afternoon, everybody. Hello. We are here in Las Vegas. We are. Mm -hmm. We just walked into the new Fountain Blue Hotel Resort. Mm -hmm. First impressions, beautiful. It's very pretty. Yes, uh, this is the main lobby where we're at, where check-in is. So we're gonna make our way to the food court because that's what we're gonna highlight on this vlog. Yeah, I like the colors. It's very ivory and blue, like a lighter blue. Mm -hmm. It's so inviting very subtle. I like it. Yes, so uh, let's see what the rest of this place looks like. This is the bar in the center of the casino. Is it Pontico? <laughs> yeah, look at that. It's huge. It's it a lot is. bigger in person. It's so pretty. Yeah. This is so far a really nice casino. Very pretty. We made it to the food court. Uh, this is on the second level. Take an escalator up. And it's pretty big. Yeah, it's yeah. about maybe seven, seven, six or seven restaurants here, maybe. I think so. And they have all tables in in the middle. And so you go get your food at the restaurant and bring it back to your table. Yeah, so uh, we'll probably start on one end and work our way. First stop to the first end is El Bago. They're open only from 6 to 2. It's just about almost 2 30, so we missed this one. We missed this one, yeah. So we'll go on to the next one. Capone's and this is a burger joint. Our burger has arrived. This is the blackjack with black truffle aioli, a raclette cheese and potato sticks. This is what it looks like. Here we go. Oh yeah. I like that bun. And to correct us, it is not Capone, it is Capon. That's how you pronounce it, Capons. So be sure when you come here, it's Capons. Okay, noted. This is what it looks like inside. Lots of potato sticks in there. Yeah, we didn't have to get any fries. We, no. we got potato sticks. And then they have the, the black truffle aioli. It's around the burger, as you can see. And in the center, that's that raclette cheese. And the patty smells delicious. So I'm going to push this and see what it looks like. I'm going to just cut it in half. Hold on, one minute. You guys ready for this? Look All right. That. That looks really good. Now, they didn't ask the temperature of the burger, so it only comes one way. This is their specialty coupon blend. Now, uh, when we say the temperature, we mean uh, how well do you want the burger cooked. So it, it looked like it's cooked about a uh, medium well yeah. to well done. So they must cook all burgers that way. Yes. So this is what it looks like. Again, it has the burger. It has a raclette cheese. That's a really pungent cheese that you get off the wheel normally. Then it has that truffle aioli, and there's no shortage of grease. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a bite. Oh, that ain't grease, that's burger juice. Oh, babe. burger juice, yeah. sorry about that. This is a well cooked burger. It is delicious. You can taste a little crispiness on that meat patty. What I like is when you bite into it, you get that crunch of those potato sticks. You can taste that cheese. Usually we're used to a really pungent flavored cheese. This one just melts perfectly in a burger. And you get that little hint of that truffle aioli. So very well thought burger. You have to give me your opinion, babe. One thing I noticed is look at the edges of that burger. It's almost, almost like that real hot flat top. Almost like a smash burger-esque that it has going on. Yeah, that, that truffle oil is going everywhere, look at that. Here we go. Delicious burger. First thing that hits you is that black truffle oil. It is not that strong. It is a little bit on the mild side. So don't be afraid to try it. If you're afraid of that truffle, might be a little too strong. It's not, it has that nice mild flavor to it. The second thing that hits me is that grilled char. Almost like that smash burger. It is nice and crunchy. I love that on the outside of that burger patty. This is very well thought out designed burger. It's very good. Yeah, I highly recommend this one. We're at Nona's now. It's right in the middle and it's homemade sandwiches. I think we have one picked out so and it looks delicious. It does. Let me go order it up. Here we go. We have the tri-tip dip here. 
we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna eat the sandwich before I dip it into the oven. Uh, this is a slow roasted prime rib mm. with horseradish uh, aioli, I believe. This is right. Dan from Dan vs. World. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Yeah, um, so, so we're simultaneously filming here. Yeah. So we're talking two different cameras. Well, thank you guys uh, for sharing this meal with me. Um, the French dip is right off. It's good. Mm. It's a good sandwich. I like the texture of everything is soft. I actually like soft bread and you know there's some horseradish in there already. Mm -hmm. Opens yeah. up the nasal and um, yeah everything is soft, the meat is moist and that uh, au jus is very brothy. Ooh, very good. I like, I like it. Oh good. I like it, especially because it's fresh. Yeah. Did you try it with the uh, au jus? No, I haven't tried it with yeah. the au jus. Hey, how about you guys compare it to um, Philippe's? And we haven't been to Philippe's in a while. In a while. But, in a while. But yeah. we have been several here. times though. Several Over times. a year. Yeah. So right now, just taking the sandwich before the dipping, it is very good mm. without the dip. Okay. I'm trying to try out this French dip sandwich. I'm going to try it with the au jus. They put a lot of meat in here, so that's really good. Oh, look at that. Very got, yeah, got the little drip going on. Here we go. I'm not a big horseradish person, but it is very subtle. So that horseradish cream or that aioli, it matches perfectly with the with this tri tip. Yeah, this is this is a very good sandwich, and yes, it is a little bit on the pricier side at eighteen dollars, but at least they do give you a lot of meat. So that's that's always a plus. And that's that nice grill, panini grill on that bread. Yeah, it's very good. Our next spot is Roadside Taco. We're gonna try a few tacos from here. Looks really good. This is the beef video taco, as you can tell. It is dorado, which it is fried. Look at all of this that's in here. It is stacked. It is filled in there. And it is very juicy. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it really needs that consomme, but we have to get the consomme. Yes. So yeah. we have Dan and you about ready to try this? Yes. Oh, together? together? Yes. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, they're both media. Yeah. They're both oh. media. Looks like there's some green salsa on here, some cheese, and the beer. Try it out. Oh, it's juicy. It's a lot of meat. Well, I will say, I'm pretty impressed. It's good. I mean, the basics are all there. I mean, having, you know, cheese, a deep fried Dorado, you know, taco shell, and nice soft meat, it's hard to mess up. But, um, I've I've had it messed up before, so, uh, but it's very good, actually. Uh, it is on the price side. We're on, on the Vegas Strip, so that has to play a factor into it, but um, you mind if I dip in the cold tomato? Go right ahead. Yeah, double dip? Yeah, double All dip. Right. Let's try it out. Let's try it with the consomme. Mm -hmm. I like it a lot, and I feel like it's, um, Kind of a little bit, for lack of a better word, I'll say fusion for the American palate because all the flavor is there, but it's a little bit dumbed down on the spice, which I kind of like because I don't like my tacos super spicy. And they're called roadside tacos. I don't know if it's a play on like like a, like a roadhouse or something like that, but it is a very, very, I would say, American version of a birria taco, but it works. It's Really good. Mm, good. Try it out, okay. bitch. Yeah, yeah. My turn. You can see how juicy it is. It is just soaked in there. Go ahead with before the consomme. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of meat. I see what you mean. Delicious, first of all. But we are used to, especially for LA, a little bit of a spice in that. This is not any spice at all, but good flavorful meat in there, right? Yeah, yeah, I totally can see what you mean. It's different, mm -hmm. but it's still good. I, I like it. Yeah. It's very good, and I drink the pumpkin. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very good pumpkin. Very good taco. I think we, if you kick up the spice to the tinge, then it'd be total LA. LA video taco, but it's good for the way it is. If you notice what's pretty neat is they put the paper of the type of taco that it is. So this is this pork for the pastor and it says beef 
for the asada. That's pretty neat. So um, in case you uh, kind of get confused, that, uh, that I'll show you what it is. So again, this is the pastore. They do give you a nice little slice of pineapple or piña on top of that. And they ask you if you want everything, and we said sure. So they put everything on it. So let's go in for a bite. This isn't bad at all. What I really like is the pastore is very juicy and flavorful. And they do give you a lot of meat. I know we keep mentioning about the price point over here. This was $8, about twice as much as a typical pastor taco elsewhere. But they do give you a little bit more meat, and you can tell, even though it's a single layer tortilla, it is definitely a house-made tortilla. You can just tell the freshness in it. And you always have to keep in mind where you're at. You're at Fountain Blue, a very high-end resort, so you have to expect to pay resort prices. So if you're okay with that, money aside, this is a very good taco. I like it. Here is the pastor taco, the flour or the corn tortilla. It looks very nice. It doesn't need that second tortilla because it holds really well together. They have a little bit of heat in this one. Really good. Flavors in the meat, you can tell that these tacos are legit, even though, again, they don't want to keep on messing the price point, but you can tell the quality of these tacos is right there. Mm -hmm. This is from the Miami Slice. Oh, look at that. This is the pepperoni. Proper. Proper. Uh -huh. yes. This has hot honey, I know that. Yeah, hot honey. Pepperoni proper has hot honey. That's what, I, bucks right here. that's what I call pepperoni pizza. Look at all those roni cups. Oh yeah, I love it. It's got the little yeah. pools of pepperoni oil inside there, yeah. as you can see. And you can see the honey right here. All these little pieces of honey. Oh yeah, yeah. that you looks gotta, really good. Yeah, you gotta try this out. Okay, first of all, this pepperoni pizza has some weight to it. Lots of pepperoni cups in here, I love it. I love when it gets a little bit charred as well on it. That's going for a bite. Look at that one that's kind of hanging. Look, <laughs> it's hanging right there. It's a hanger. Yeah, hold on. Let me do a little flip. Ooh. How'd you like that? Here we go. First thing that comes through, the spiciness of that pepperoni. The hot honey really kind of balances out the spiciness. So that hot honey, you get more honey, I think, than hot, but it is very good. You have to be a fan of pepperoni to enjoy this. Thin crust, the bottom looks nice. The crust, nice and crunchy, I can just tell. So yeah, if you're a pepperoni fan, you definitely love this one. Look at that. I love those little pools right there. first thing that comes over to me hits my tongue is that little bit of sweetness and a little bit of a spicy sweetness then a little bit of the saltiness of the cheese absolutely delicious and the crunchiness of that pepperoni good balance again quality ingredients quality pizza it's very good yeah this is your first experience with hot, hot honey. honey how do you like it? that's very good I like that little sweet it's making it a little bit savory with that sweet and the salty of the cheese and the marinara it's very good here at Bar Edo, this is where you get your sushis and hand rolls. So we're going to get a salmon bowl that looks delicious. Here's the menu over here for the rolls. And then the bowls are on this side. This is the salmon bowl. It has a little bit of the roe there. It has cucumber has your green onions and your rice and it's covered in a sauce you have your soy your wasabi and your ginger on the side look at the cute little chopsticks they give you so we're gonna go ahead and try this out this looks really good let's go try this out here's a piece of this salmon let me get some of that rice in there and what it's really cute is it feels like a I think it's plastic but it feels like a bamboo little holder here we go 
That looks really good right there. Mm. The rice is really warm. And that salmon, extremely fresh tasting. It's really good with these little roe here. Uh, it's salmon eggs, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, very salmony. The eggs are very salmony. I'm not a big egg person, but yeah. You have no question that that's salmon right there. And of course, cucumber. Is the marinade on the sweeter side or, or not? I love it on them. I don't like the vinegarish side. You have to try it out and try it. Um, the cucumber. It's a, it's a good dish, probably with all the food court here. It's probably not the first one I go to, but it's good. Let me try this out real quick. It's good. Is it something that would just blow me away? No. But if you are in the mood for a Japanese sushi hand roll or a bowl, I think this will satisfy your craving. But to us, it's, it's good to okay. This is the last of the quick service eats up here in the promenade. This is called break. We're going to get a little bit of a dessert here. This looks really interesting. Exotic fruit and banana cake. Yeah, that and one does. And then they have fruit danishes. Cinnamon roll. Yeah, that looks good. Blueberry muffin. I think this is what we're going to get. We're going to get the seasonal cheesecake. Yeah. And they have one more over here. A hazelnut cake. And of course, uh, chocolate croissants. They're humongous. Yeah, some good size ones, right? Chocolate and regular croissants. Wow. Okay, yeah, I think we're ready. From break, we got a latte and we got their seasonal cheesecake. What's really cool at break is they have all different types of lattes. They have like a waffle latte. They have like a tuxedo latte. But we just got the plain latte. This looks really good. It's going to fit our cheesecake just divinely. And this is the seasonal yeah and it's got a gold flake on it so you know it has to be good it has to be i like all of the fruits on here all different types of fruit here's a blueberries here's raspberries strawberry blackberries it has a little bit of everything let's go ahead and try this out are those gold flakes it's a gold flake so you know it has to be good oh. yes we're gonna save that little gold flake for last here we go it looks pretty good This is a good cheesecake. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it looks good. Dare I say, I like this better, this cheesecake better than Cheesecake Factory, baby. Ooh. Oh, no way, no yeah. way. Way, Ooh. way, Ooh. believe Ooh. me. Surprise. Let me give this a cheesecake a try. You know I'm a fan of cheesecake. And I love when they use the gray impressed on it. Huh? Yeah. First thing is ultra smooth, velvety, creamy, great cheesecake flavor. Nothing is being overpowered on it. Perfectly balanced. It's the right temperature. It's the right consistency. The right flavors. Everything's all right about this cheesecake. Yeah. I can't say it's better than Cheesecake Factory because they're one of my favorites for plain cheesecake. But yeah, this one might be better. Oh yeah, so there we go. That is a wrap from the Fun Blue Food Hall. Delicious, delicious food, high quality food. Does mm -hmm. have a do it does have a bit of a high quality price though, but delicious whatever meal you're gonna get here yeah now if you're a fan of visiting different types of food halls mm -hmm. here in Vegas mm -hmm. I think you really like like this place mm -hmm. you yeah. will mm -hmm. yes because it's got diff it offers different things compared to the other food halls it does and it's so inviting it feels like you're sitting in a garden indoor garden yeah plenty of tables yeah. mm -hmm. lots of staff that comes clean your tables mm -hmm. right away everybody extremely nice oh yeah yeah we spoke to one of the managers here and gave us a little insight on, on when it opened mm -hmm. and such. And mm -hmm. 
Yeah, very, very nice people here. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I would say come now before it really takes off, before the lines start, because you know they will. Yeah, you know yeah. what, the week, this is midweek. It but is. the weekends, it could be pretty crowded. Yeah. We don't know. Right, right. Yeah. And right, we want to give a shout out to Dan versus Will for help us review a couple things here. Yeah, he helped us finish our food. Yes, yes. Uh, and then that's it then, right? Yeah, we're done, baby. Thank yeah. you, everybody, for saying hi to us here. Yes. Um, I saw my friend Angelica. Uh, thank you so much for saying hi. I met everybody here who came by and said hi. Yes. Hi, huh, baby? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, thank you, everyone, so much. Yeah, and a reminder, uh, there's a couple more Vegas videos we did while we were mm -hmm. here, so be sure to check those out. So until our next adventure, we'll catch you guys in the next one.